Hello friends, Coast Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today we're going to continue our series on the Garmin Instinct and we're going to take a look at how you can download maps and other tracking and trail features uh, from other resources onto your Garmin Instinct that'll help you better utilize it as a tool out in the woods. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the Garmin Explore app. So the Explore app is great for a mobile device. Um, and then the other place that you can get maps uh, outside of a mobile device, if you have the luxury of you know, having a full-fledged you know, laptop or computer uh, at your disposal, then you can uh, go to the Garmin Basecamp uh, software site. And that's, that is a great platform to get maps as well. So if we open up the Explore um, here we can see I've, I've already gone into downloading maps. I could download Maryland, Virginia. It knows where I am. You know, I'm in that area. Uh, here, if you come, it's going to be down in the bottom left corner. You're going to have map, library, devices, and account. And by clicking maps and clicking download maps, that's where you can search uh, for more specific maps. Uh, we had one subscriber say they're going to go hike the Appalachian Trail, which is fantastic. I'm super excited for them. And they could go here and find that map. Once you do have a map, then you can sync it to your devices here. If you come down to devices and you can send it to your Garmin Instinct that way. Uh, all right. So let's take a look at how to get to this on your Garmin Instinct. Okay. So to find your maps that you've just synced and downloaded to your Garmin, You'll go to your activities up here in the top right, and then you'll come down to the activity you want. You'll select the top right again to select it. And now that I'm in my hiking, before I start it, or after, but anytime, if I come here to the menu, the left middle there, uh, if I do a long press there, so I don't tap it, but I hold it until I see the screen change, then what I can do is I can come to my hike settings, and we'll, we'll get into that in a different video, but here you can come down to navigation and this isn't the navigation app that we've taken a look at. This is navigation within your hiking app. And if you select it by the top right here, um, you can select back to start like we've, we've seen in our, our navigation app there as well. If you've, if you're lost, you can select that and it'll get you back to the trail that you've started at. Um, and then here you can do courses, activities, saved locations, uh, site and go, coordinates, lots and lots of really cool features that we can get into uh, in a deep dive. But what we want is our courses. And if we select courses, then we can create a new one. And this is where your courses, uh, your maps would show up for your hiking. And you can select, I wanna hike that map. I didn't, I haven't uploaded, but I could create a new course. Here, if I go back, um, yeah, I could create a new course and have that be, you know, one of my custom ones or one of my maps would have shown up when I've synced it to my Garmin. Uh, so please let me know down in the comments below if you thought this was uh, helpful. I uh, hope you all enjoy, you know, using your Garmin, uh, whether that's your Garmin Instinct or any other device. Again, the Explore app on your phone is a great tool as well as Garmin Basecamp to get maps programmed onto your Garmin devices. Hope you all have a great day. Coast to Chris out.